Welcome back to Rev TV and welcome back to my MLB The Show 19 New York Mets franchise. This is episode 2. So if you guys are caught up, look for playlists to my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell. And if you like what you see by the end of this, click the thumbs up button. Leave any comments below. Um, here we are for the April 1st game of the season. We're going to be opening up the series against the Marlins here. It will be Steve Matz against Dan Straley. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, I think I'm like a day or two after the opening day as I record this and there's still no updates for the MLB, uh, there's no update rosters yet because I really want Pete Alonso on this on the roster but uh, I'm going to be moving forward here just to keep the season going. Um, but whenever the update rosters come out, I'll just restart my, my uh, season and we're going to, I guess, continue from wherever I we're going to save it all, all the way up to where I am in uh, the season. So without further ado, we're going to go to Miami and I'll see you guys there. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that will bring up the outfielder, Brian Anderson. What a jumping throw by McNeil. He got him. That is to end the inning for the Mets. I'm sorry, that's Lowry. That is a little blooper for Travis Darno. Hitting it to opposite field direction, and that's the Mets' first base hit of the game. What a play! And McNeil getting Straley. Well, he's got somebody out. That is a heck of a play by McNeil. There we go. We'll play ball. At second. Out of first. There you go. Any, any double play for the Mets. From Lowry to Cano to Smith. 1 2 for Anderson. Another play by. McNeil and another Sports Center top 10 play for Jeff McNeil. Another diving play. Playing the hot corner. 3 and 2. Peter O'Brien just swinging a miss to a changeup. Inning over, and we are moving to the fifth, I believe. Still scoreless. Good hit by Dominic Smith. It's going to be a double at least. A little slow, but he'll make it. As he hits the left center field wall. And it's a stand up double for the first base from Dominic Smith. That's his first base hit of the season. Ah, it's going to be a base hit by Vlad Guerrero Jr. This could be a double. It is, and oh, freak on a stick. Come on, get the ball. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to throw So it is a double for Vlad. Vlad Jr., rather, and moving up on a throwing error. Three and two. It's going to be a base hit. And the runners. To, well, first and second, but Vlad scores. So it's going to be one nothing Marlins here in the fifth. There you go. It's going to drive him in. He wants round third. And that's going to be safe at home. So it's an RBI single for Jeff McNeil. And it ties things up here in a sixth inning at one to one. Going up the middle. Yeah, way to come through. The pitch to hit a three and one count. And Conforto drives it deep to center field. This is a no doubter, and the Mets take a lead here in the eighth inning. It's gonna be three to one Mets. That's Conforto's first horn of the year, I believe. That is off Conley off the bullpen. Another video and another clutch home run for the Mets here in the eighth inning. Just like the video with, uh, I believe that was Wilson Ramos who had a home run. This is Michael Conforto coming out big for the Mets here in the eighth inning. The 2 2. 
gets him swinging. That is a swing and a miss. That is a strikeout by Avila and getting Alvarez on strikes. will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Shit. It's a base hit. It might drive in Granderson. No, it's going to hold them off. At second and third, that is a double. Right. And he'll walk the bottom of the ninth. Edwin Diaz in. Two games, two saves. His ERA is a little high against lefties. Or his, his ERA is high, but his average is high against lefties, rather. You gotta bring that down. One and two, Stalin Castro. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. That is out number one with a strikeout. We double play ball. Out second. Out of first. That is an end game ending double play for the Mets. And Seawall gets the win after Michael Conforto home run in the eighth inning. Things got a little tight with uh, with Familia in in the eighth inning, but we were able to lock down, get that last out in the eighth inning. Man, what a victory for the Mets! So we got Michael Conforto played the game batting two for four, two RBIs. He got that home run. Sessa is batted three for five with two runs. Travis Darno, look at him batting three for four. And the win goes to Seawall, as I said earlier. The loss goes to Adam Conley. And the save goes to Edwin Diaz. Okay, so we're back. And we're just going to send the rest of the series here. So we'll do a quick sum of this Miami game. Losing 1-3. to uh, That is Jason Vargas, surprise, surprise, with the, with the loss. Might try to sign a free agent to get rid of Vargas. I don't trust him. Cespedes with another RBI, that was a only run driven in. Next game, it's going to be Jacob deGrom against Chen, I don't know who that is. Todd Frazier. Okay, so we end up losing this game against the Marlins. It looks like in the ninth inning, we give a few runs in the seventh, and then we gave up three runs. In the 11th inning, come on, man. Ah, oh, that's painful. Um, but the next game we'll be playing is a home opener against Washington. Uh, another game against Washington and another game against Max Scherzer. It's going to be Thor against Scherzer, so this should be interesting. Oh, man. But, tough loss. We are now, what's our record now? We are now three and three. Phillies are four and one right now. We're still second in the, the NL East. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my uh, franchise in New York Mets. Don't forget to click that like button. Leave any comments below. And see you guys later. Take it easy. And